What's up, everybody? Surprise stream! Surprise stream! Surprise stream today! Christmas stream! Look at that! We have lights! We have Christmas lights! Sort of! Jules is here! Sarah is here! Surprise stream! Surprise stream! Godzilla Nerd says, Yes, Celeste OSD is awesome! Yes, and also Celeste has snow in it therefore it's christmas music yeah tabia says awesome surprise music stream let's go joseph is here shydax is here brown storm modest oisin melody rider joe remind me right melody rider says so true yeah it, it has snow so it's christmas it's christmas music Everybody knows Celeste is a Christmas classic. Okay. We ha we even have the Christmas lights to prove. And the Celeste uh, soundtrack is actually not... Not that big at all. And also... Uh, I forgot to... I should, I should pin this. In a comment for the people that don't know I am streaming I've been streaming Celeste on the gameplay channel so I'm gonna put the link here that Vivask's gaming journeys do 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 Uh, copy link. Celeste, Celeste, Roberta is here. Joyce says Resurrections and Farewell probably my favorite tracks. I I've heard I think I've heard Resurrections. In in the in the last gameplay stream I think. Froggy is here. Hey Froggy. Uh. Now let's pin this. I'll be streaming Celeste tomorrow on the gameplay channel. Subscribe. Do 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 do. Uh, pin. Tabia says, are you also going to listen to the B-side OST? Uh, I don't know. I have a video here that says, Celeste, complete soundtrack, full OST. That's what I have. I don't know what it includes. Oh, C Celeste is 75% off on Steam right now. Cool. Jules says, are you going to listen to only the soundtrack of the main game or also B-sides? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game like you guys do. I just... I just have the full OST here. Maybe it's just the, the base game. Soul says, that probably also includes the B-sides. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. People are, are already start to starting to come in. And I guess this will answer the question that people are asking. Uh, look at this. Celeste complete soundtrack. And here's the track list. Oh, wait, but now the track list is blocking the lights. That's not right. Can we show the lights? Like this. Yeah, like this. Like this. 
Singular asks, is Celeste on PlayStation? Yes, I've been playing it on my PS5. Javis says, you should, you should definitely listen to Farewell. Is that another album? We can do like we did with Hollow Knight, uh, where we, we listen to all the base game on, on a stream, and then on another stream we listen to all the DLC stuff. Oh, Javis says, the, the video was uploaded before Farewell released. Interesting. So this is just the base game. Uh, so yeah, let's listen to just the base game today. And then we can do another stream in the future, listening to all the ex extra stuff. So, guys, should we start? Should we start? Javis says, like 10 minutes or so. Oh, maybe that, that's too short for another stream. Uh, yeah, so maybe if it's 10 minutes, maybe we can listen to it today. Karen says, we shall, we shall. Start, start, start. So, first track is the prologue. Retsuna says, nah, it's like 30 minutes. So let's go, let's start. This is the prologue. Cussing says, Yahoo, I'm new here. Welcome. Cussing, cussing. Yeah, and I, I remember this from, from playing the game in the previous stream last week. This track, I, I felt like it was very quiet compared to the others. Very slow. Whoa. Wait, did that happen in the... In the... Title screen of the game? I don't remember. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I was here listening to music by myself. Uh, let me go back. Yeah, I I, I had my... I had the, the audio muted for you guys. Dovey, Dovey moment. Yeah, too bad we don't have the Dovey emote here. But we have him here. Dovey moment. Yeah, this is the prologue. Yeah, I was saying that this is much quieter than all the, the other tracks I've heard so far in the game. Printer says, by the way, I'm going to play Cuphead with my friend. Bye bye, Printer. Thank you for stopping by. This, I don't remember this happening in the title screen. But maybe it does. But maybe it's uh, an edit specific to the album. Wesley says, whoa, what a perfect surprise. Oh, it's from the, oh, it's from the tutorial. I think I remember. Yeah, it's when you get the dash. I remember. I remember now. Like, time time slows down and it pauses. Yeah, the bridge collapses. This is, what is this? This is first steps, right? First steps. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. 
the melodies in this are, are so... some of them... Like, the, what I mean to say is that there are little fragments of melodies in the songs that are so catchy and memorable. The, the songs as a whole themselves are usually not super catchy. There's moments like this. Moments like this, when, when, where there's not a lot of melody going on, it's just harmony. Right? A lot of it is atmospheric. But then when melody does come in, it sounds so recognizable. I feel like I'm always recognizing recurring melodies. Caroline says, hello Debbie, hello Cal Caroline. How are you doing? Eva is here. Hello everyone. Sasso, Retsuna. Oisin says, this one reminds me a lot of Tunic. I've never listened to Tunic music. I don't know what it sounds like. Graf is here. Wesley says, have you played this game before, Davi? Wesley, where have you been? You should be hanging out with us in the gameplay channel. Uh, look at the pinned comment here. At the top of the chat, he says, I'll be streaming Celeste tomorrow on the gameplay channel. Wesley! Wesley! So everybody, if, you, if you're like Wesley and you don't know the gameplay channel yet, Click here on the link on the pinned comment so you can join us tomorrow. I'll be streaming Celeste tomorrow there. But yes, to answer your question, I have played it before, but I only played like the first and second level. Ritsuna says, get ready, it's a hard game. Yep. I know. And the piano, man, there's so, so many, so much piano. See, moments like this as well. I feel like it's more atmospheric. I feel like she does a... Well, I can't go back to the point where I was. But uh, I feel like she does a good job of blending atmospheric moments with melodic ones. Uh, and there are moments like that, the moment that I was trying to go back to. Uh, that there is a piano melody going on, but it is not the catchy type of melody. It feels like an improvisation, it's more like a like a, an atmospheric kind of kind of melody. Like here, this part. Listen to this melody on the piano. It feels a little bit like improv. The melody just flows kind of freely. Maya is here. Hey Maya, how are you doing? Oh, Caroline says, Davi Giovanni said to say hi and that he's live streaming Ori right now. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Hi, Giovanni. Maya says, I'm good, tired, but cozy. Yeah, that's the end of the year mood, right? Tired, but cozy with all the holidays, the festivities. Okay, so next track. Oh. Is this the one I'm thinking? Resurrections. This is one of one of people's favorites, right? Resurrections. I've heard that one on the gameplay stream. I got to this part. Angel says, what makes... Okay, I want to answer this question. Angel says, what makes something sound like improv versus a normal melody? Uh, is the, the, the structure... Uh, a, a melody that's supposed to be to be remembered 
that is supposed to be sung, that is supposed to be catchy. It usually has uh, patterns that are memorable, short patterns, and the the melody itself is is, is usually short and has a very well defined structure. Now, an improv melody just goes; it, it keeps going. Uh, it it doesn't have many uh, recurring uh, patterns that repeat. It just keeps going and it keeps going, seemingly uh, wandering around. You know, it, it doesn't repeat patterns. It doesn't try to be short and and catchy and concise. It just goes, it just goes anywhere it pleases. That's why. Uh, That's why it doesn't sound catchy and it's less memorable and it sounds more atmospheric. It, like the this kind of melody, atmospheric melody, call, calls less attention to itself. So it becomes more atmospheric and less catchy. Joe says, where are you from, Davi? I am from Brazil. Eva says, you said sometime before that Celeste music uh, can be copyright striked. Is it good now? No, it's not good. This video is 100% uh, getting copyright claimed. So I'm, I'm not going to make any, any money from ads in this video. Only from Super Chats. This will 100% get claimed. But I don't know, I'm just in a, in a, in a Celeste mood. Because I'm streaming Celeste on the, on the gameplay channel. And... You know, I wanted to do a Christmas stream. And I thought, well, Celeste would be a good idea. Violet says, yes. Uh, uh, Violet says, material collect. Yes, material collect. Yeah, Resurrections is so good, man. I if if this is the track I'm thinking of, then this one is pretty good, and it evolves. It changes so much throughout the level. And you know what this reminds me of? I don't know if if you guys are gonna be able to relate to this. This sounds a little bit like like old school, like really old school, like '87. Zelda dungeon music. It has that retro Zelda dungeon music vibe to it. Eva, thank you very much, Eva. She says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Eva. Thank you so much for the super chat. Amit says, now that you mention it, yes, yes. Tab yet. Uh, to make up for the incoming copyright strike, I'm happy we're getting Celeste content though. Uh, thank you, thank you, Tavia. Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate it because this video will make no will make no money from ads. Froggy says, "Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Froggy." Wilson is here. Hey, Wilson. And the music is growing. You, you can tell the music is evolving. There's drums now. I think this is not the one I'm thinking of. Maybe it's the next one that I'm thinking of. Sir Goma says, hello, I'm sad to have missed the stream last week. Well, don't miss it tomorrow, though. There will be another stream tomorrow, another Celeste stream tomorrow on the gameplay channel and the link is on the pinned comment here on the chat. Jessica says, thank you for helping us all with learning music. I'm glad. Thank you for saying that, Jessica. Pearl Hunter says, more Celeste, yes. And, and another reason why 
I wanted to listen to this soundtrack is because this will be the last opportunity to blindly react to some of these tracks because now I'm playing the game. See, this is a recurring melody. I don't, I don't know what it means. What, what does this mean? Do, 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 do. Again, do, 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 do. It means spooky. I don't think that's it. I think it's something more significant because this is a recurring melody it's in the first level as well is it on the first level let me see am i am i making up stuff let me do 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 do, do. i remember this okay so we are at around 10 10 minutes but let's go back do, do, do. Let's go back to the first level. Go, go, where's the melody? See, 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 see. Do, 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 do. I, I was not imagining it. Again, check this out. See, it's a recurring melody. And this first level is is not spooky at all. So it means something bigger. Maybe it's Madeline's theme. Joey says recurring, I think, because there is the reflection of her. Okay, maybe. But anyway, Sir Goma, thank you very much, man, for the super chat. He says, love your YouTube channel and so happy to see finally to finally see Celeste here. Thank you, Sir Goma, for the Super chat, yeah, I'm in a Celeste mood right now because because I'm playing it on the gameplay channel. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And uh, uh, Celeste content here in the in the channel has been slow because, as I said before, the company that owns this music is really annoying and they copyright claim everything and and, and it adds an extra layer of stress and frustration to to every Celeste upload that I do. So that's why I only have two Celeste videos on this channel. This is the third. And now I'm doing the... the Celeste playthrough on the gameplay channel as well. See the, the melody again. I think it's Madeline's theme then. Sapphire says, David, this song is from the first level. Oh, I thought this was... Oh, okay. Oh, so this is still the first level. Interesting. But still, I feel like I, I've heard this melody on the second level as well that I played on the gameplay stream. Tabia says, this part is for Badline. Yeah, so this is the first level still. Oh, okay, I get it. So I think this is the nightmare part, right? When she when she's dreaming and then awake is when she wakes up. Zero says no second. Well, I, I guess we have to define what level means. Uh when I say level, I think I think what I'm thinking of is chapters. In my head, second level is the is the Ochiro guy, the, the hotel. But I guess that, that that's wrong of me to say that. Oh, so Ochiro is chapter three. So I have it all mixed up in my head. 
Oh, Chiro is chapter 3. Okay. Again, the melody. Very, very recurring melody. This is a variation of that, of that melody. Froggy says, My sister learn, learned this track on piano. She practiced for such a long time. That's cool, man. Shydax. Thank you very much, Shydax, for the super chat. Thank you for the support, guys. You're being very, very gen generous today. I guess it's, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Davi. Here's to offset the claim stream. Sometime later, should check out the soundtrack for TVI. TV, TVI, it goes hard. I never heard of that. I don't even know what it is. But sure, I, I could check it out. Thank you, Shydex. Seth says, we are still in Space Jelly Land. Oh, okay, I remember the Space Jello. Again, the melody. Like, the melody is everywhere. Now I'm curious to see if this... If I'm remembering correctly, if this melody is in the hotel as well. And it seems like the, the piano is always there. The piano is very low, it's very quiet in this part, but it's still there. Froggy viewer! Thank you, Froggy. Thank you for the super chat. He says, Happy Holidays, all. The feed do the Santa voice. What, what, what does Santa sounds like? Ho, ho, ho. Is that, is, is that how Santa sounds? Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa. Oh, you know what I could do? Froggy, I am sorry. I cannot do the Santa voice, but I can do something better. Let me see. <laughs> okay, this will work. Uh, let's put it here. Oh my god. Thank you, by the way, Froggy, for the, for the super chat. Check this out. Should I just leave this here? Can I revert? Oh, I think this part of the song is when she's about to wake up, right? Flip horizontally. I'm gonna inevitably get out of the hat from time to time. But I think this this works. Ho ho ho. You know what I should do though? Hold up. This is this is a, this is a historic moment. Which which track is this by the way? Oh, this is this is a wake. So this is when uh, this is after the nightmare and we're waking up. <laughs> yeah, Tavia, Tavia got it. Tavia got it. <laughs> See the and the piano again.
Now, now I'm obsessed with that melody. I'm, I'm trying to recognize it again everywhere. This is such a big contrast from the, the previous tracks. Because it's, it's just piano, there's no synth. Santa Dovi, yes. Amix says, you will find it in important parts. Oh, so I'm, I was not imagining things. It does occur uh, in other parts of the game. So what's next? This is postcard from Celeste Mountain. Maya says, new emote, festive Dovi. I have to add that to the... To the gameplay channel. Archangel says, it's Madeline's theme, basically. Violet says, this is the chapter select menu. It's very quiet. It's extremely quiet. That's so weird that it's so quiet. I can barely hear it. Oh yeah, Wesley says, I think this part is dialogue heavy. So the music is more somber. This is probably checking in, right? At, at the hotel. Yeah, checking in. Oh, the one I was thinking of is, is scattered and lost. The, the one I really liked during the, the gameplay stream. See, th this is what I was talking about w with atmospheric melody. There is a melody on the piano, but can you sing it? Can you remember it? Is it catchy? It isn't. It, it just goes. It just flows. It just wanders off wherever he wants. Cat Loaf is here. Cat Loaf says, I'm busy, I said. I don't have time to watch the stream, I said. <laughs> here we are. I mean, you can, if you're busy, you can multitask, right? You can do some work on another tab here and then listen to some Davi Vasque over there just to <laughs> just to pretend you're being productive. Swim says very enjoyable soundtrack. The bass in this It's so bassy. Karen says, I have it play. Have it play while you wash dishes. I do that. I used, I used to listen to audiobooks while I wash the dishes. Merry Christmas, Davi. Are you doing anything cool this year? Just the usual stuff, nothing different. Just getting together with family, that kind of stuff. Nothing new. Moreno says, Davi Podcast.
So here you're going through the... Through the hotel, right? I think you're, you're still not... You're still not cleaning the hotel. Because when you're cleaning the, the hotel, I think it's scattered and lost, that place. Yeah, the hotel's first part. Did you recognize Scattered and Lost when you played the game? Yes, I did. Uh, I did a video on it, right? It's been so long. <laughs> Cat Loaf says, yeah, that we should do a collab with Dovi. So, Davi Vask podcast, the first guest is going to be Dovi. It's like you are in the main hall. I can't wait to... I, I think after Scattered and Lost, I don't know any of the songs. I don't know any of the songs. So... You're gonna get my first time reaction. Oh, actually I... Wait, I made two videos on Celeste. I did Scattered and Lost and another one. I don't remember what the other one was. Have you played past chapter three? No, I, I got to Oshiro, to the hotel. I did the hotel and that's it. Oh, and the, the theremin-like synth, right? For the spookiness. Probarsu says, oh, you didn't finish the game yet. No, I, I, I've been playing through it on stream. Did you know, Probarsus? did you know that? Read the pinned comment on top of the chat. I'll be streaming Celeste tomorrow on the Gameplay channel. It's the, the second episode. We're gonna play past the third chapter. Oh, it was Farewell. Farewell was the second video that I did. A and Farewell is not here because I guess it's one of the... One of the other albums. Farewell is not here. Giraffe says, Theremin represents the hotel. Yeah, it's kind of like a haunted hotel. So it makes sense. Yeah, it's the DLC. The uh, Farewell, the Farewell track is DLC. I re all I remember from Farewell is that it had crazy drums. I remember that from Farewell. Dr. Ouija says, what do you want for Christmas, Davi? What do I want for Christmas? I want... I want a lot of work. And... <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to say that. When people ask what you want for, for Christmas, usually people say, I want love, peace and happiness. But really what I want, I want a lot of work and a lot of money. Because me and Julia, we have some really cool plans for... For next year. That will require a lot of money. It's very... It's very cool, something like family family goals that we have and we're gonna need to spend some money and it's gonna be really cool. Like life-changing stuff, it's gonna be really cool. Money, <laughs> it's weird to say that but uh, it's true. So this is Spirit of Hospitality. Failure says, how did I get here? Uh, you probably... You probably clicked a thumbnail.
and the the theremin is still there and now we have these synths These synths, do, 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 do. I feel like it's a uh, it's like a retro representation of a uh, of a harpsichord. And the harpsichord also has. The, I'm gonna repeat this track. Uh, Harpsichord always uh, also has that spooky connotation because it is an old Baroque instrument. I feel like that's what she's trying to simulate here. Harpsichord means broke music. Banger not incoming. It, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Banger incoming. raging so much so much at some of the strawberries in in this part but the the music always made it better like i was raging <laughs> because of the strawberries and then i i would remember oh this music is great god damn it this strawberry sucks oh nice music Oh, Signate is here. Hey, Signate. Archangel says, I never raged in Celeste because music and gameplay is just way too good. I raged a little bit on, on this part because of, so, of some of the strawberries. Actually, it, it was just one strawberry. It's so cool how it evolves. Again, the theremin. Dr. Luigi says, this game made me rage so much, I almost, I almost baroque my controller. Gokoa says, I feel like it evolves as Oshiro gets more and more butthurt. Yeah, now these... These synths that were introduced right now, they feel more negative. These low-pitched synths. It's really cool how sounds can communicate these kinds of emotions. This low-pitched synth, synth Feels like something negative, something horrendous. Sir Goma, <laughs> thank you so much, Sir Goma, for the super chat. Have some money for Christmas, then. Thank you, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna help. This is going straight towards making my. You guys will know in time. Making. Mine and Julia's dream come true uh, in 2024. We have something big planned. 
Thank you so much, man. Oh, the crazy drums. Wow, I guess I, I was so so concentrated when I was playing. I didn't remember there were crazy drums in this track. Oh, this is when he chased you. So cool, man, how... Like, her... Uh, I have to stop here. Uh, her arrangements are so interesting. She does such unorthodox things sometimes. On this part here that you heard, there's only melody and drums. There's nothing else. There's no bass. There's no harmony. And then she starts incrementing it with the theremin. Check this out. It's just melody and drums now. It ends up feeling so ethereal and empty, lonely. And Maya, thank you so much, Maya, for the super chat. She says, Merry Christmas. Thank you for your streams and videos. I enjoy them and hanging out with you and the fam a lot. Thank you, Maya. I enjoy having you in the streams as well. Thank you very much. Scattered and lost, yes. Crazy drums. Noob Master is here. Hey, Noob Master. And, and the music gets more and more frantic and, and erratic as it goes. As Oshiro starts chasing you more and more, I guess. Tabia says, the B-side remix of this is also a banger. <laughs> and it's the only thing that kept me sane during a certain level. Caroline! Thank you so much, Caroline. $50! Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you. Hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. We will. Thank you. You guys are being, be being very generous today. Especially Caroline. Thank you very much, Caroline, for the... $50 I appreciate it no now what's is this golden I don't this is golden I don't know if I've heard this before because I, I stopped at the, at the after the hotel level Wilson says these super super chatters are going crazy today yeah, I know. I guess it's... Uh, as we start getting closer and closer to Christmas time, people get more generous, I guess. I, I guess it's the Christmas spirit. That's cool. Like, I, I get more... more generous as well, like, with my time. Like, for example, today I, I just... Just because it's Christmas, I just wanted to do a stream. I guess we all get kind of... Uh, sappy and emotional <laughs> during Christmas. Caroline says, You're welcome. This one is very quiet as well. Catalove says, Solid evidence of Christmas spirit. Yes, scientific evidence. Man, it's piano on top of piano. I, 
I don't think I've ever heard this. This is new. Bouncy says, I love the more ambient tracks in Celeste. Uh, Archer says, the stream will be available to watch when it's done, right? Yes. Yeah, very atmospheric. And it's interesting how there's a... Can you hear this? There's a quiet... Quieter piano. More on the right speaker. And on top of it, there's a louder piano doing the wandering atmospheric melody. And Tabia. Thank you so much, Tabia, for the super chat. Uh, once you've finished this game, you should watch a speedrun. You're insane. I can totally imagine that. It seems like a very speedrunnable game. Thank you, Tabia, for the super chat. Kaya says, hi, everyone. Hi, Kaya. Okay, it's building up. I don't even know, like, at this point, I'm going in blind into this music. I don't even know if this is a level. It's probably a level, right? the start of a level because it's starting to build up the game fan says Lina, Lina Rain did such a wonderful job with all the OST Bouncy says oh boy here we go here we go where Again, the low pitch synths make me nervous. They, they're unsettling. Giraffe says five on top of three on top of two. You mean the tempo? The the time signature? Yeah, I did notice there was something funny going on with the tempo. It makes it very disorienting. Martin says, does someone know when the next Celeste playthrough will be? It's gonna be tomorrow afternoon. Uh, afternoon America time, like US time. And guys, if anyone here does not know, I am streaming, I'm actually playing Celeste live on stream tomorrow on the gameplay channel. Look at the pinned comment here. Uh... I'll put a link here as well. You can go there, subscribe and watch the VOD from the first episode. And if you subscribe and turn on notifications and all, all that stuff, you will not miss tomorrow's episode. I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Man, this is building up so slowly, so gradually. There's a, a very insistent ostinato. Oh, it's gone. Bouncy says, I, I love how this is a slow and sad version of Madeline's motive. Wait, I have to go back. I didn't notice Madeline's melody. 
but maybe the melody is just so slow that it sounds unrecognizable. I, I can hear it. I can hear it. Yes. Let me go back one more time. There's a semblance of it. Yes. See? See? Do, do, do. There's a semblance of it. It's not the the same melody note by note, but the soul of it is is here. I feel like this is intentional. She wanted to put a, a semblance, even if disfigured and maybe unrecognizable. The soul is there. The semblance is there of the of the metal line melody. Thank you, Bouncy, for. For pointing that out. I didn't notice the first time. Uh, yeah. Bouncy says it's also quite distorted. Yes. Very cool. Okay. Man, there's something weird going on with the time signature. The low pitched synths again. Wesley says, I've never been able to tell what emotion this song gives off. Well, for me personally, it feels disorienting, unsettling. It feels very disorienting. Uh, erratic. Hysteric. Nervous, it makes me feel these emotions. Wesley says, Where are we at the OST? Uh, this is. This is golden. This low pitch scent makes me feel so. so nervous. Sounds like something dangerous. Lurking, right? Lurking in the shadows. Listen to the low pitch synth. It goes away. And then it, it re rears his head again. Cool. Now, the next track is Anxiety. Again, this is Madeline's melody. But sadder. That's interesting. Madeline's melody, but... disturbing Raf says I can feel the anxiety I think the the disturbing 
synths are obviously a representation of some surge of negative emotion. I love this. I love how... Again, the Madeline's melody. I have to stop here. So the track started with Madeline's melody. Very quiet and sad. It was not actually the the original Madeline melody note by note. It was a modified version that sounds a little bit more negative and sad. Very quiet and lonely and introspective as well. Progressively, the disturbing synths that I said, at least to me, feel like they represent some surge of negative emotion. They get louder and louder and more disturbing and they take over Madeline. They take over the Madeline melody and it just goes away. Like here, for example. You, you can hear very quietly, you can still hear Madeline's uh, melody on the piano play on the right speaker but it's very very quiet it's being completely overshadowed by the synths bouncy says it represents madeline's fear and regret so he uses both her light motif and the synths representing battle line yeah uh, it, it feels very clearly that there's something negative taking over madeline Overwhelming Madeline. It's still here, Madeline's melody. Now it's gone. Madeline's melody is gone. It's back, it's back. It's back. So it's like Madeline trying to come back to the surface. It's like she's she's being drowned by these emotions. Yeah, it's always there, it's just overtaken. Interesting. Very cool track. Very symbolic. It, it felt it felt very obvious, very clear in, in its symbolism. Very cool. So the next is Quiet and Falling. Gecko says, Madeline's melody is like a feather that tries to stay steady, but the wind keeps moving it. That's a way to see it. Sir Goma, thank you very much, Sir Goma, for, the, for another super chat. Just saying, I wore a Celeste t-shirt today and drank coffee from my Celeste mug this morning and my second Celeste mug at work and now you're watching a Celeste stream. Interesting. If I had to guess, I would say you like Celeste. And tomorrow you are going to watch another Celeste stream on the gameplay channel, I bet. Okay, so this, this is much more tender and gentle. Thank you, by the way, Sir Goma, for the super chat. <laughs> Dimitri says, I think he likes Hollow Knight. Uh, she uses a lot of dynamic range as well, a lot of differences in volume. The quiet tracks are super quiet and the loud tracks are super loud. I wonder... You know what I'm thinking? Jules says, this track always makes me feel so empty and hopeless. 
the piano solo tracks, the, the piano only tracks, always feel kind of more positive and chill, even if they're sad. I feel like the synths represent the negative stuff, like the the negative emotions, the anxiety, the, the neuroticism. I wonder what the piano means. I wonder if it's a... If it's a symbol for Madeline herself. Bouncy says you can hear those synths swelling up in the background. Slowly, right? Very slowly, very gradually. Sasso says, every character is represented in an instrument. Yes, that's what I thought. So my guess is that uh, the piano has to be Madeline, right? This is still quiet and falling. Nolami says, well, I was going to ask if you wanted the answer for the piano, but then you got it right anyways. Yeah, it, it seems like it's Madeline. Because it, it, the piano only pieces feel very sensitive and introspective and quiet and lonely. And tender and gentle and sincere. Bouncy says, Madeline has the same motive, but crazy distorted, because she's technically also Madeline. Sasso says, if you think about it, Theo is the guitar. Someone said that in the in the gameplay stream uh, last week. Someone said that. Martin says, well, it seems it doesn't have B side tracks in it. That's too bad. We can make another stream like we did with Hollow Knight. We're going to listen to just this today and then we can do another stream to listen to the other DLC stuff, extra stuff. Zon says, hey Davi, will you listen to the B-Sides tracks? Some are very similar, but some not. I like the jazzy version of this track in the B-Side. Yeah, someday we will listen to the B-Side like we did with Hollow Knight on another stream. Very chill. Quiet and falling. I bet this is a level as well, right? Because this track is too long to not be a, a, a level. Will you do the farewell OST too? Yes. Uh, but uh, probably in another stream because uh, people told me it's like 30 minutes long. And I actually have to do some work today. So the today's stream cannot be very long. This is the fifth chapter to be more specific. First part of level five. Martin says this level has the best mechanics, but the A side is a bit annoying. 
Tabia says, any hint? I'll, I'll take the opportunity that this track is very atmospheric. And I'm gonna answer Tabia's question. Any hint on the next capitalism stream is going to be? Uh, on when it's gonna be? Uh, I don't know. But there's a reason why there hasn't been one in a while. And it's because I'm working towards making them better. Because I'm not happy with how they work. I'm literally paying, I'm paying a programmer to do something for me that will help me with the capitalism streams. And if it works out, it's going to be amazing. The democracy streams, I think we, we, we got it. We got it. They're, they're super good. We spent like, I feel like over a year fine tuning, like the, the, right, the, the democracy streams. Now I feel like we got it. Like if, if you've been here in the last, uh, democracy stream, you know how fun it was. Like everyone was voting and the site didn't crash and everyone could submit options. So that, that we got it right. Now I feel like we have to make the capitalism streams better because one thing, two things I don't like about the current way we do the capitalism streams. And Coco says, what is the capitalism stream? It's a stream where we listen to music and the requests are done through Super Chat. That's what a capitalism stream is. We spend like three hours listening to video game music here and people can suggest songs by using Super Chat as opposed to the democracy stream, which is basically the same thing, but people don't need to do donate and it, anyone can suggest anything and vote. And whatever track wins in the public vote gets hurt. Uh, yeah, Signe says last democracy stream was definitely it. Yes. Two things I don't like about the current way, the current way we're doing capitalism streams. There's a lot of suggestions. There's a lot of super chats. And I have to sort through them and order them uh, by amount manually. And that is so much work. Like last time we did that, we lost 40 minutes. It's just 40 minutes of me uh, literally copying and pasting super chats, putting them on a list and ordering them in in order of amount 40 minutes just one person me doing that alone that sucks because it's 40 minutes we could be spending listening to music and also because it's just me and i have to sort these things and order them by myself the requests they remain open for like 10 minutes in 10 minutes we already have like 30 something requests and that's it i, I can't do any more so you guys are going to see I'm I'm working on literally I'm I'm working with a progr programmer to make me software to help me with that and if it works it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really cool so so yeah let let's continue that 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 was to answer uh, Tabia's question on why there hasn't been or, or when there's going to be a, another capitalist capitalism stream the answer is when I when I when I finish making it better, and I'm I'm working on that. But anyway, next song is "In the Mirror." The game fan says, "I have to go. Wish you the best. Enjoy this gem of a soundtrack." Bye bye, the game fan. Thank you for stopping by. Shite access for the capitalism streams you have to get there immediately if you want to request. The list closes so fast. Yeah, because it, if if David doesn't cut it off, it can go over four hours easily, yes. So it's kind of boring to to do the stream like with most of the stream with the request closed. They remain open for like 10 minutes. 
Okay, so a lot of synths in this one. It, it already feels unsettling. In the mirror. I bet this has a lot to do with battle line. Drums. Sounds like flies or mosquitoes. It sounds very... Unsettling. It, it's not pleasant. Not it's not a pleasant sound. But obviously that's the point. I wonder what the drums represent though. The drums are also so unusual in this game. Sometimes they're like there's crazy drum solos out of nowhere. Urgency? The drums represent urgency? Nolami says, I think the drums are kind of just functional and don't really represent much. Could be... Ma says, I don't know if you finished the game so I cannot spoil. I have not finished the game. I'm currently playing through it on the gameplay channel. Look at the pinned comment. And you can also join the stream tomorrow. I keep hearing some weird sounds. Yeah, exactly. Giraffe says random breathing and the gibberish section. I feel like I'm. Yeah, breathing. I I'm hearing breathing. Spooky voice. And yeah, and it's reversed. Yeah, it's whispering. And this track is called In the Mirror. This could represent... Is it actually gibberish or, or if, is she saying something? This could actually represent, you know, Madeline's inner dialogue. She's saying something. But it's reversed. This is actually real speech, but just reversed. She's talking about anxiety and stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> anxiety and stuff. You just summed up Celeste. I mean, I haven't uh, beaten the game. But that's what it, what it seems to me from the outside. Okay, the harmony is, is, is becoming a little bit more positive. There's some happy chords. Oh. More positive, more positive.
wow, it feels like she's finding some kind of inner peace, at least for a brief moment, because this feels positive. It's still sad, of course, but it feels hopeful. Angel says, it's the piano part from Quiet and Falling, but reversed. Reverse sounds and melody too, yes. But the mosquito scent is still there. And the, the drums? So I feel like I feel like the mosquito scent there, there was a little positive thing going on. Did you notice the harmony became a little bit more, more positive? There was a hopefulness to it and some happy chords. I feel like the mosquito scent is intruding in this positive moment and the drums as well now so i feel like this positive moment is about to get ruined or, or semi ruined by the negative sense typical mosquito behavior exactly exactly interrupting the positive moment And there's still voices, I can still hear voices. Water Rising says, by the way, in Reach for the Summit, it takes all of the songs from the levels and changes it a bit cool David Vasque says you need to hear the reversed message is actually deep I should look that up sometime Pearl Hunter says mosquito scent EC says wow I'm just in time for my favorite songs up next Listen to this mosquito. It's completely intruding and, and ruining the the moment. But but that's the point, right? Because the synth is, is clearly clearly the intrusive negative emotions. The mosquito ruins everything every time. Typical mosquito behavior. Okay, so the negative thoughts have calmed down. Oh wow, did you guys hear that? There was thunder. Okay, so next up is Madeline and Theo. Yeah, I remember this, I, I think. This plays every time you meet Theo, right? Yeah, every time alone with Theo. So Theo is clearly the guitar. It's pretty soothing. That's pretty cool. I feel like Madeline feels at ease with 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 Theo. 
there is like a calming presence for her because this track feels soothing and positive oh and Madeline's Madeline's melody did you hear Interesting. So even Theo's guitar is playing Madeline's melody together with the piano which is Madeline's instrument. No, Lamy says Theo is a chill dude. Theo from what I've seen of him seems very sound of mind as well. He's a, he's a rational just healthy <laughs> mentally healthy dude you can see that uh, sometimes when he interacts with Madeline like the contrast between him and Madeline Madeline seems insecure in, in, in some occasions in comparison to, to him Signate says, "Now nah, look at his panic, trying to escape the hotel. That's <laughs> that's the the natural, healthy, rational reaction to have. He was camping next to a plane crash. Well, I'll, I'll give you that. That's kind of weird. And there's a synth. I feel like battle line." Even in peaceful moments like that, Badaline is hovering. Even if on the on the margins. Listen to this. Oh, this is another track. That was very seamless. A very seamless transition. Star jump. It's building up. Says, oh no, the fear is kicking in. Yeah, the synths are, are starting to grow and, and starting to take over. Drums. Bouncy says you can barely hear the sound of Madeline talking in this cutscene. Is that it? Okay, next up is Reflection.
interesting melody. I almost feel like I recognize it. Maybe because there's some semblance of Madeline's theme in there. Yeah, right. Oisin says, this is similar to another. That's what I'm feeling. It, it feels familiar. <laughs> Ref says, I'm saying, I love this one every time. Okay, I love them all. They're all very good. Banger incoming. It's building up slowly. It's gonna explode at some point. Tabia says bangers all around. The synth on top is at the end of Resurrections. It's from the end of Resurrections. See, I knew it sounded familiar. Yeah, I recognize this. John says the level of this track feels very lonely. A lot of this soundtrack feels lonely to me. And I think that's a, a result of the the arrangement choices that she, she makes. Most of the tracks are so empty. They feel so empty instrument-wise. There's always like... Not always, but often like two instruments. Maybe a melody and some arpeggio going on, or maybe drums, and then just a melody. Th there's so much space left over in the, in the song that it feels empty, it, feel, it feels lonely. It feels quiet, it feels introspective. Wh which one is this? This is still reflection. Sir Goma, thank you very much Sir Goma for the super chat. Confronting myself is my favorite. I always cry a bit when I hear it. It's the next one. Thank you Sir Goma for the super chat. Oh, now I'm, now I'm curious about the next track. Ma says, are you going to listen to the B-sides? Yes, on another stream. On another stream. Kaylin says, first time listening to this game's music and I'm having a blast. Me too, like this is the first time I'm listening to most of these. Yeah, I recognize this melody, this is from Resurrections. 
what happens in Resurrections though? Prologue, first steps. Resurrections is the nightmare. Uh, I wonder if, if it, if this level has something to do with the with the nightmare, with battle line maybe. <laughs> Agent DD says, David, don't forget to do a case of said fooper in the next stream. Sure, I will absolutely do a case of said fooper. There's some chanting. The, the tempo is weird on this. Hey, yeah. Man, that's so cool. Man, this track feels important. Madeline's melody front and center like this. The drums, dude. The drums sound so cool. Yeah, Madeline's light mode. The voice, man. Like, I don't hear any piano. If piano supposedly represents Madeline. Whoa. The voice is breaking up. Harmony in this is so cool, it sounds more adventurous than the rest of the game. This absolutely feel, feels like a super important track. A, a big action sequence, I'm, I'm assuming. Hey, yeah. Catloaf says, gotta head out, see ya guys. Bye bye, Catalo. Amazing, Madeline's melody again. The chanting is so, it's so weird. I wonder what it. I wonder if it represents something. I'm also intrigued by the fact that I don't hear any piano. Whoa! Just like that. And again, Madeline's melody on the piano. The piano is back. Lil Goth.
Coco says cozy banger. Amik says pianos are coming and coming hard next after Lil Goth. Yeah, this feels like a re-exposition of of Madeline's theme. And again, the piano only pieces are always so calming and soothing because I feel like it's Madeline detached from Badeline from the the bad thoughts the negative emotions Sir Gomez says I'm crying right now Jay says, detached, does he know? Did I, did I guess something right? Ultra banger alert. Yeah, reach for the summit is, is one I, I've heard people talk about. Agent DD says you always guess something right. Man, I'm excited for Rich for the summit. I guess now. Why do I recognize this? Do I recognize this? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Sorry, sorry. Banger interruption. I apologize for the banger interruption. It's the same arpeggio, it's the same ostinato from the beginning. I knew I recognized this from something. Okay, resuming banger. Yeah, it's from the prologue, yes. Oh, prologue, you guys are saying prologue, but it's it's in first steps as well. It's the same ostinato from first steps. Listen to this. So I guess it's also in prologue. Yeah, here, right? Cool. So they use this in prologue, then in first steps, and again in reach for the summit. Yeah. So cool. Mm. 
No Lemmy says, Optimism Ostinato. Is that it? Strings? We have strings for the first time. Dun, dun, dun. Where did the strings come from? And Madeline's melody? Strings give this such a such a sense of drive. There's a sense of, of going. And the, the hi-hats as well on the drums. There's a sense of going forward, a driving sensation. Determination, yes. This is this feels super positive as well compared to the rest of the soundtrack. And I don't hear that's interesting. I don't hear intrusive negative synths. It's piano, drums and strings. saying 500 M the bass bass is going crazy this feels so positive it feels like the end of the game Very positive harmony. These are two, two, two happy chords, one sad chord. Resur Resurrections plus summit. So they are kind of doing a medley of. the other level tracks motifs galore Pharrell says yeah you could say that Again, <laughs> very triumphant. Dun, dun, dun. This is the two happy chords and one sad chord that I talked about earlier. Do, do, do. There's a sense of victory of uh, mission accomplished. Oh, the theremin. I can hear this the theremin. So this is uh, a this is a uh, reference to the third chapter, right? The hotel. Spooky time. It's from Oshiro. Yes.
Coco says, Exhale and My Dearest Friends are the more underrated tracks I am of. Yeah, very inspirational. Sounds very inspirational, very positive and there's that sense of moving forward. Madeline's melody. This is a that's interesting. This is a synth. But it doesn't feel as disturbing. See, even the low pitch synth is still there. I guess because of the more positive harmony, now it doesn't feel as menacing as before. Now Giraffe says Golden plus Summit. So this is a, a reference to the Golden Chapter. I'm not recognizing a lot of the references because I I haven't spent enough time with the level tracks to internalize the melodies. Temple plus, plus Summit. A mix says, brace yourself. Oh yeah, this could be in the mirror plus summit. Oh, it's fading out. Next one is Exhale. Again, this is again from the prologue. Wait, this is not Exhale. Is it? Oh, this is too rich for the summit. The summit awaits! The strings. Triumphant harmony. Da, da. <laughs> this is great. This completely, this totally feels like mission accomplished. You did it. Is victory lap music. And even in moments like this, listen to how the instrumentation is minimalistic. It feels like there are so few sounds. It sounds cozy. Agent DD says, you didn't do it, you are doing it. Yes, you are like in the process of achieving something. But it's like there's that sensation that like, I I've done it, this is it, I'm doing it. Synths plus piano plus drums. Yes, that's it. And strings, right? There's strings now.
And the piano, it's funny how the piano is going crazy with the arpeggio. I like to think that it re reflects Madeline's state of uh, excitement. Okay. Now it's exhale. Oh, and of course it's gonna be a chill track, right? With this name. Again, it's a solo piano piece. Super chill. Monkey says, so chill, we did it. happy chord it resolves all the tension that has been has been building up throughout all of the game uh, this one such a cozy home chord resolution conclusion The piano collections exhale is a piano plus violin piece. Interesting. There's a synth. The 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 synth is still there. I don't know what it means, of course, because I haven't played the game. But if the synth is still there, and the synth represents Madeline, I wonder if it means uh, Madeline coming to terms and learning to live with her issues, with her emotions. Because even though the synth is there, the song sounds sounds positive, and the synth itself sounds positive. Heart of the Mountain. Did you guys hear that? There was some crazy thunder. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm actually kind of scared because when we have crazy thunderstorms like this we can have power outages so if i just disappear out of nowhere you know you know what happened so cool how the synth moves from left to right Monkey says, I struggled so bad with this chapter. Whoa, this is a... There's more gameplay? Like, after all of that? Interesting. So interesting. The piano in unison with the synth. Mm. 
No Lami says chapter 8 and farewell, aka chapter 9, our post game. Okay. Karen says, was the thunder part of the soundtrack or outside the window? The thunder was real, the, the thunder is outside. It's summer here and if you live in a tropical country, you know that during summer there are crazy thunderstorms. Very chill. Well. Since, since this is a gameplay track, I assume it's gonna build up, right? It's gonna evolve throughout the chapter. Yeah, like this, like this. Kia says, have you listened to Farewell? Uh, not, not here in this stream. I've made a video about it, though. But not on this stream. I'm probably gonna listen to it on the next Celeste music stream where I listen to all the B-sides and all the DLC stuff. Karen says, does it rain a lot in Brazil? Yes. Uh, during summer it rains every day. Multiple times a day. The bass is so different. <laughs> Agent DD says, I wonder where Can Canadaka is. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure she meant Canada. Pero says Resurrections is best OST. Man, now that we're reaching the end. Uh, of course, as I listen more to this, my opinion is probably gonna change. Especially as I, as I play through the game. But my favorites, I think, are Scattered and Lost. And... Uh, reach for the summit but there's Theo was pretty cool as well Madeline and Theo Mosses, oh my god. Angel says, poor dogs. Oh, so you guys are hearing the dogs. Th those are the neighbor's dogs. Yeah, I mean, thunder and dogs. So the next one is my my dearest friends, right? Let's go! Final track of the soundtrack. Let's go! God, that sounded so much. The beginning there, I'm not gonna... It, if the if, if I wasn't in, in kind of a rush to end the stream because there's there, the apocalypse is happening outside, I was actually going to show you the Animal Crossing track that sounds exactly like this.
There's an Animal Crossing that sounds exactly like this. Maybe one of you guys will know which one it is. Angel says, which one? Uh, it's... I forgot, man, but in the... I forgot the name. But in Animal Crossing... New Leaf in, on the 3DS, the song from the cafe, the the kind of bar cafe that you can go. Yeah, the cafe theme. Yes, exactly, exactly. Blinchik knows what's up. Yeah, New Leaf. No, yeah, New Leaf, New Leaf. Madeline's theme very quiet the roost the roost that's it that that's it the roost oh this is credits on the menu uh, on the main menu, there's an option to see the credits. Yeah, this is very chill. Sounds kind of jazzy. More jazzy than the soundtrack has been. Which track is playing right now? It's My Dearest Friends. Amazing resolution. Glorious, glorious happy chord to end the the soundtrack on. Very, very chill. Very chill, like complete 100% sense of conclusion and satisfaction. Uh, and YouTube wants me to listen to Ori, but I will not. I refuse. Guys, <laughs> Dovi, I just saw Dovi again. Can I group? I want to. Can I group both together? The hat. Group. <laughs> guys thank you so much for listening to music with me today please 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 if you like celeste look at the pinned comment here on top of the chat it says i will be streaming celeste tomorrow on the gameplay channel i'm actually playing celeste for the first time on the gameplay channel and there's a link there that will take you to the first episode of the Celeste playthrough, okay? So you can watch, you can catch up, and you, you can catch up before tomorrow when we're going to be streaming it again. And you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the notification when I start streaming tomorrow. So go there, subscribe to the gameplay channel, and let's hang out tomorrow playing Celeste. And guys, thank you so much. This was a ton of fun. You guys have been extremely generous. Today, of course, it's Christmas. So, it's almost Christmas, I mean. So, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Dovi also wishes you a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I want everything good to happen to you. Okay? All of it. Think of a good thing. Yes, that's it. I want to happen. I want that to happen to you. So now, guys, it's time for you to say bye to me in the chat so I can say bye right back to you. So, Blinchik says Merry Christmas. Signate says Merry Christmas. 
Doom Master, Shydax, Angel, Kto, Modest, Karen, Kea, Sarah, Spongmoid, Moss, Seth, Debbie, Farrell, Jules, Kaelin, Captain Cognizant, Josu, The Black Knight, Ref, uh, Ash, Caroline, Agent DD, Wilson, Tabia, Coco, Mega Lampada. Yeah, all of you guys. Tricuspa, Jules, Zon, Pearl Hunter, Maki, Zamalin, Jagger, NKGZ, Mushroom Man Told. So, bye bye guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Let's do it again tomorrow on the Gameplay Channel. Right here. So, bye bye. This was fun. Thank you guys.